Hey Phoenix fans, welcome to Phoenix Arms and Defense. So to nobody's surprise, 2020 has been one dumpster fire of a year. I mean, phew, tons of stuff have happened this year. I mean, you can take a pick. And unless you've been living under a rock, it is probably no surprise that you cannot find any common calibers out there on the shelves. And if you do find it, it's usually really expensive. Thus, that is stopping people from going to the range and enjoying themselves, getting any training in or recreationally shooting and just having fun with the family. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five guns that you could still find ammunition for and go and be able to shoot. Now, before we go ahead and get into the list, I do want to encourage you guys, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the bell notification so you know when we put out more good videos like this, especially some top five videos. And be sure to drop a comment below. Let us know how we're doing and then go ahead and swing on by the Facebook page. All right, so with that, let's get started into our top five guns that you could still shoot in 2020. Okay, so before we get to our number five pick, I want to kind of let you guys know how we came up with this list of these guns. And I say guns in air quotes because some of these are considered legally non-firearms, but we'll kind of get into that in a second. So with these, uh, with our choices, we pretty much looked at it is, is it's something that we can squeeze a trigger and be able to send a projectile downrange with. So that's kind of what led our broad qualification of what guns, quote again, we picked up or what we picked out for this list. The second thing that we looked at is what is the availability of the ammunition for the for all the of our choices today. So with that, let's go ahead and we're going to start with number five, which is an air gun. Now, you can pretty much pick up an air gun at any one of your local sporting goods stores. They're, they're all over the place and they range all over the place in prices. You can get a little cheap $20 daisy all the way to, you know, a couple hundred dollar high end pellet rifle that you can hunt rabbits and squirrels with. And some of those pellet guns, you'd be surprised at the velocities. Some of them are going as fast or faster than a 22 rifle. So you can get some pretty major accuracy out of those and get some good trigger time on one for relatively on the cheap because pellets are fairly cheap. You don't got to worry about gunpowder. You don't have to go through a background check to pick up an air gun. So there's a lot of benefits. And depending on your local uh, and or state laws, you might even be able to set this up in your backyard or even in a garage or something, depending on the power, your backstop, what availability you have. So, you know, there's some pretty big advantages and most ranges will let you take an air gun out anyway. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's a pretty viable choice to get some good practice in, especially to keep those marksmanship skills honed up. So that is our number five pick, which is air guns. Let's keep it going. Okay, guys, so number four on our list are going to be shotguns. Now, you can pick up a good single shot shotgun pretty much almost any, any pawn shop or some of your local sporting goods stores have them still on the shelves, eh, debatable. But generally speaking, you can buy a, a single shot for right around 100, 150 bucks new, maybe 80, 100 bucks used. Now that said, um, shotgun shells, especially birdshot, are still very widely available. Double lot buck and slugs, the home defense stuff, that's a little harder to come by, especially since deer season is going on right now. Everybody wants to buy slugs for that. On top of that, you know, home defense, some people use slugs. I personally don't like that, another video. But, you know, you can still find, you know, you know, six, seven and a half, number eight birdshot all day long. And you can still find them in the 100, 100 round value packs. And they're not that expensive, like 23 bucks or so for, you know, 100, 100 shells. And then go to a skeet range or if you have land or a skeet thrower, you can sit there and go and play with one of these for pretty much on the cheap still. And, you know, shotguns are quite fun in their own right. And it's a different skill set, especially shooting moving targets. So there's some value there. Um, and then on top of that, if you have a home defense shotgun, you can find birdshot and not waste all your coveted buckshot. You can get some good training on that as well and practice various shotgun drills, depending on your range. Some ranges don't let you shoot birdshot at certain types of targets. So check with your local ranges. So that is our number four pick, shotguns. Okay, number three, muzzle loaders. You can find muzzle loading supplies pretty much almost anywhere. Um, number of sporting goods stores carry it. I know we got some local gun stores around here that carry muzzle loading supplies. 
Here's a cool thing. You can get a nice, decent muzzle loader like this. This is a Traditions Crockett rifle. It's in 32 cal. Really cheap to shoot. Uh, it doesn't use a whole lot of black powder, and you can find black powder, you know, around 25, 30 bucks for a pound of powder. And then the lead balls are usually, you know, 10, 15 bucks for 100 or so. So these are really, really cheap to shoot, and they are a lot of fun. Another little fun fact about muzzle loaders is, is you can order them online, and they will ship straight to your door and you don't have to have an FFL fee or anything like that. They just ship straight here. These are not considered firearms by the ATF standards. It's kind of weird. It still uses powder to go boom and makes fire to make a bullet go boom, but hey, it is what it is. So these are a lot of fun. They can be really accurate depending on the quality one you get. You can get historical reproductions or you can get an inline, you know, modern day muzzle loading inline rifle. I know I said inline twice, but some of those things could be accurate out to two, 300 yards. So muzzle loaders are a very viable option to go out and A, hunt with, B, um, they're not as much restrictions and you can find ammo and they're relatively cheap to shoot compared to, you know, say 9mm223 right now. So that is our number three pick, muzzle loaders. Okay, so our number two option is kind of splitting hairs a little bit. It's going to depend on the caliber you go with but we're going to talk about some obscure calibers. In this case, what I've got here is a Webley that is chambered in 38 Smith & Wesson, old British World War II pistol. This particular one's a World War II pistol. And this one's chambered in 38 Smith & Wesson. Not a very common cartridge. Now, I tell you that to tell you this. I know of three places that I can pick up ammunition for this right now, and they range anywhere between $24, $25, all the way up to about $31 a box. And the crazy thing is, the price of this ammunition hasn't gone up a single cent. So that's nice. I can still shoot that gun for the same price before all of this whole corona crap hit. So depending on what caliber you pick up, you can find, I've seen old Smith & Wesson 38 revolvers, little lemon squeeze revolvers. I've seen those at pawn shops before for right around two, 300 bucks. You can pick one up for pretty cheap and then go out and buy ammo for it and at least be able to readily find the ammo a little more pricey because it is a obscure caliber. So do your research on the calibers and look around, see what you can find that is available, and then start shopping around for a gun that's in that caliber. So you and they're really pleasant to shoot, low recoil, kids can shoot them, and they're a lot of fun. And some of them, like that one, have historical significance to them. So that is our number two firearm, anything chambered in an obscure caliber, whether it's a rifle or pistol. All right, you guys ready for number one? because I'm ready for number one. You'll like this. Oh, so I'm sure some of y'all are probably screaming at the uh, camera or the computer screen, being like, it's not modern, I can't really shoot it. I wanna go play with my AR, yada, 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 yada. Have no fear, I have an AR right here. Anything chambered in 224 Valkyrie. Just kidding. Um, no, seriously, anything that is chambered in some of the newer cartridges for these AR-15s, you could still somewhat find ammo for. 224 Valkyrie is a very good example. Now, granted, the rounds that I've seen on the shelves, I don't use for that platform because they're they're not match grade. But I have seen 224 Valkyrie on the shelf for right around $12 a box, and you can get it. It's a simple barrel swap. You can find barrels still online, and you can run your AR and still get some fun and get some training out of it for a heck of a lot cheaper and a heck of a lot easier to find than 223 or 556. There are also another number of calibers that are out there that I have seen. 450 Bushmaster, 350 Legend are two, another two really good examples. They are a little bit more expensive to shoot, and they are a little more difficult to find, but you can find them. So you can still shoot ARs in this time of having troubles finding ammunition because 223 and 556 by far is the common chambering in ARs. So you can still get out there and get some training in with, you know, a standard AR rifle. So that is my top five list. Again, newer AR calibers. My particular favorite is 224 Valkyrie, as you guys know. If you've seen any of our Valkyrie series on the channel, um, that is what I've actually been shooting the most of as far as my AR platforms go, is 224 Valkyrie. And we've got some more videos coming up that I've shot recently that will be going underneath the 224 Valkyrie project to show you guys really what that round is capable of. So anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and close the video out. All right, guys, so there's our top five guns and calibers that you can find 
today in 2020. Well, granted, we're almost at the end of November of 2020, but 2020 is wrapping up. Ammo supplies are still very dry. This is probably going to go well into 2020, uh, 2021, I would expect. So, you know, this gives you guys some tools to get out there and still be able to go recreationally shoot or get some training in. So I really encourage it. Marksmanship is a perishable skill. You got to get out and practice it. Uh, as far as self-defense stuff, there's still a number of things that you can do to keep your self-defense skills honed up. Right now, I've been doing a lot, a lot of dry fire practice. And we'll hopefully, let me know what you guys think in the comments of this idea, but we'll talk about like maybe a 50 or 100 round drill that you can do with a limited amount of ammunition to be able to get that live fire practice that we need. So they're tough times. I totally get it. Um, I wanted to do this video as a little bit of fun, uplifting spirits a little bit. So that way you guys can kind of get out there and go throw some lead down range because I love doing it and I'll pretty much play with anything that's got a trigger on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said at the beginning, if you like the type of content that we put out, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you know when we release new videos, like what we did today. And then also, you know, give us a like, a thumbs up, and check out our Facebook page. All right, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching today's video. I appreciate it because as always, without you guys, we'd be nothing. And I want you guys to always remember that your right to self-defense is always self-maintained. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Chris Smith, and we'll see you guys in the next video.